and we've got to about seven o'clock and the fish are just starting to rise now. You quite often will see, particularly on the Goulburn, a lot of snowflake caddis, which is like, a, and they're very visual to us because they're bright white and they flutter around everywhere. The fish generally, and the larger ones in particular, don't eat those. There are some caddis which you'll get later on, which are darker and they can focus on those. But what we're after, and for the risers that you'll see hopefully soon, will be on a mayfly, which is a, um, almost like a, uh, like a darker brown or almost a red uh, spinner uh, or a dun. And that's what we're looking for, where the fish will be in the one spot and sort of rising. So we're hoping to see a few. They've just started like just here and, and further out towards the middle now, where there's some little, little um, gravel bars as well starting to, to feed there. So we want them to get, um, I suppose, more and more confident in feeding and more duns popping down and put our fly in front of it. And hopefully get a couple on the end of this rod. As quite often the case is, the fish are rising just on the other side of the current. But a short little way just to the other side, you can put that fly in front of the fish. But uh, I got the impression they were starting to tease me as they started to rise literally all around me. But it was only a matter of time. I knew if I could get that fly close enough, I'd be able to get him to take. And all fishermen are the same, you just want one last cast and it was getting darker and darker but you just never know, that next cast could be the one that lands that fish of a lifetime. And it was incredible the amount of insects that were in the air and it's probably obviously hard to see now but it was literally covered in, in caddis and mayfly everywhere and the fish were all over them but I just couldn't get them to take my fly. Well I think it's a bit unfortunate but uh every day has to end at some stage but there's still a couple of fish just rising there and, and as the uh, the sun goes down there it, it's very hard to see but um, yeah the beauty about staying at a place like this at the, the breakaway is that you can fish and you've got to walk all the way up there to get back to your cabin and uh, you might have a have a cold beverage or something like up there and uh, you can sit back and enjoy it so yeah sometimes I think there's it's just to take your time and really experience all that the, the area has to offer and you're just going to love it.